Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Penny Series. I believe this is episode 28, and we're gonna have another $50 penny hunt. If you didn't see any other videos in this series before this, go and check those out. Last episode, we got a really cool find. Got a 1909 last episode. Um, but anyways, we got a $50 hunt here. I'm um, also, I've been slowing down the videos. I haven't made as many videos as I did this summer because I started school, so I can only really pick up my orders and I have like soccer and basketball every night so it's kind of hard to make time to go get coins from the bank but anyways I picked up my order today we had two enders in one box and one in the other got a pretty cool ender here a 1942 Canadian King George the sixth also I'm filming this right after the day after Queen Elizabeth unfortunately passed away so there's going to be a new ruler or whatever monarch on the Canadian coins now, which is kind of cool. But then we had um, two wee penny enders in this box, a 58 and then a reverse. So let's just go through the Canadian box first. Or the Canadian, I'm sorry, <coughs> Canadian ender box first. And we can see if we get any wee, pens, wee pennies for our books. Hoping to get some in there. Some Indian heads would be cool, and Indian head, I really want to find one from the 1800s or one to put in our book. We have we did actually get an Indian head book. We only have three though. Anyways, let's get started on rule number one of this box, and I'll bring you in on our first wee penny or other cool find. Roll one, and it's that ender, and it's the uh, 1942 King George the Sixth Canadian penny. It's pretty cool. I don't really find many of these, and as an ender, that's pretty cool. In pretty good shape too. Well, let's put it to the side and see if we can get anything else cool. Roll two, and we got our first wheat scent. Let me just bring the light down. It's in 1944. I'm pretty sure it's the most common year for wheat pennies, but I'll take it. Let's see if we can get any more. Roll seven, and we just found a 1952 Denver. It looks like awesome. That's our second wheat penny. Let's keep going. Okay, so roll number nine now, and I can just see two wheat pennies in this roll already. Uh, up first, we have a 1945 Denver, and then in the very far back here, there's the reverse, and it's a 46 Denver. So two years right next to each other, and that's pretty cool in the same roll. Let's see what else we can get. Hopefully we can get one for the book. Roll 11, and I already saw it. It has an S mint mark. It's a 1950S. That's much more common I mean rare date um, usually with the estimate marks it's a lot rarer but let's keep going to see what else we can find roll 15 and it's right next to a really nice 73 Denver it's reverse facing it's a 58 Denver last year roll 16 and we got our next we set there's the back and it's gonna be a 1945 another pretty common year well, we're just getting one every roll right now, guys. So we got another one. Roll 17, a 57 Denver. But I'm just glad we're getting one every single roll. Also, I'm watching Rob Vine's Treasure. I'm sure you already know him if you like coin roll hunting, but he makes great. Um, he's doing like the same type of series as me. I actually started this because of him, but he goes through uh, pennies and fills up albums too. So go watch him. Anyways, let's keep going. Roll f um, 20, and I already see three wheat pennies in this roll one back there actually i guess i'll pull this one out first is an older one 1938 it's our oldest one of the box so far so that's cool we don't need it but an old one i'll always take then up here we have a 1942 and then behind it we had another reverse facing one a 41 so 41 38 and 42 it's a great roll. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, I didn't even see this, but we actually had another one in that roll, so it's gonna be a four wee penny roll. We have one that looks like it was found metal detecting, and I think it's a 53 Denver. So awesome, a four wee penny roll. Roll 22, got another one here. Let's see what it is, a 55, and the 55 actually does have a double die. I don't think this is it though. It would be the uh, date there. Anyways, let's keep going. Roll 24, and we got another one here. There's the back, and it's gonna be a 52 Denver. Roll 26, and we have a really beat up um, 1944. 
Really bad shape. Alright, we're finding a lot of wheat pennies, everybody. Uh, roll, I think it's the very next roll. We got two. A 48 Denver, that's our first of that year. And then right back here, we got a 55 Denver I saw. Which I think we did get a 55 Denver already, but awesome. A lot of finds. All right, we're still in box one, roll 31. We got two Canadians um, in this roll, a 2001, and then a young head, uh, 1964. Roll 36, and we got a 1955 Denver. I think that's our third 1955 Denver. But we have a lot of wheat pennies so far. Let's keep going. Roll 39, and we have a couple Canadians in this roll. But I'm mostly excited because we have a super worn wee penny right up front here. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a 1919. That's really old. That's 103 years old. We don't need this one. Uh, 1919 is probably the most common of the teens, but still it's cool finding this one. This is such an old penny. Um, yeah, we do have a few Canadians in here. I guess I'll pull those out. There's one, and there's one. Neither of them are young heads, but yeah, it's a great roll. I'll definitely take that. It's really worn, but a 1919, it's a cool find. Let's keep going and see what else we can get out of this box. We're getting a lot of finds. Roll 42, and this is just an amazing box. We got a 1942 on roll 42. Roll 43. And hopefully this is a 1943, that'd be pretty rare. But we got a Canadian right next to a wheat cent, and it's going to be a 1945. And I guess let's see what the Canadian is. It's a 72. Okay, so it's the next roll once again, and we have another young head here. So we have two young heads and a King George VI in this box so far. This young head is a 1962. Okay, so we finished up with only the first box, and we already have a ton of amazing finds. That was a really good box. We got um, a bunch of old Canadians and 20 wee pennies, which my average is 10. So really, it was like two boxes in one. Anyways, we still have a box, the sister box or whatever you want to call it, um, from the same bank with the same like sticker. So hopefully it keeps up the trend and is just as good as this one. But let's get on to the second box and see what we find. Okay, it's roll one of box two and... Um, if you remembered, we had two enders in this box. This is the ender right here. It's a 53 Denver. I actually thought it was a 58 until I just read it. And then there's another one in the roll, a 57 Denver. All right, here's our other ender that we had, and it's a 58 Denver. Roll four, and we get a 1948. And there's the back. Roll seven, and we got a 1941. Roll nine, we get another one reverse facing. 1958 Denver. Roll 10, and we got two, a 1945 and a 46. Roll 11, and we got a 1944. Roll 15, and we got a 1954 Denver. Roll 18, and I got a 1942 Denver. It's a little bit lower mintage. Roll 20, and we got another one. There's the back, and it's a 57 Denver. Okay, it's roll 21 now, and we have three finds right here. I see a 45, um, a Canadian from 84, and then one back here. We sent 1940. That's our oldest of the box so far. Roll 24, and we have a pretty nice looking wheat scent here. There's the back, and let's see what it is. It's a 52 Denver. This might be a replacement in the album, actually. It probably end up uh, will end up being a replacement in the album. So let's put that to the side. It's a good find, let's keep going. Roll 26 and we got two more finds. A Canadian from 77 and a 51 Denver wheat cent. Roll 31 of box two and I can just see two wheat pennies in this roll. So the first one is a 57 Denver, which is a very common year if you haven't been able to tell. And the second one is a 52. I'm pretty sure we still need the 54 Philadelphia, so we're definitely looking for that one. Roll 35, and I guess it seems like our wheat pennies, um, they come in twos, but we got another one, 56 Denver, and then one back here, a 1940. It's the very next roll, and we got a 50 Denver. If this was a nickel, it'd be the lowest minted Jefferson nickel.
Roll 40, and we got a young head from 1964. Roll 41, and we got a penny from 2013. It's a dime stuck to the back, so I'll have to get that unstuck. It was the next roll, and I found a wheat penny from 56 and a Canadian from 81. Next roll again, and we got a 52 Denver. Roll 45, and we're not getting a lot of old ones, um, but we are getting a lot of wheat pennies and Canadians in these two boxes. We got a 46 and a 75 Canadian. All right, on roll 48, we got three. We got a 45 and a 46, and I flipped this one over because it's a lot older. Um, it's from 1919 San Francisco, and unfortunately, we only need the 1919 Denver, but it's still cool that we got one that old. And let's see what's left in these last two rolls. All right, so that's going to do it for this two box hunt. I finished up with the uh, second box. We ended with that three wheat penny roll. Um, I haven't written down the totals for all the wheat pennies. I'll do that in a minute after in like the next clip or whatever. But I'll just go over what we found. Um, we had one dime, four older Canadians. Um, we got a King George the Sixth which is pretty cool. These are pretty rare. And then three young heads and then a big stack of Canadians over there. Our oldest wheat pennies were a 1919, 1919S, 1938. And then you can just, it's um, all laid out by year and mint. You can just kind of see what we got. We didn't have any key dates or anything. Most of the key dates are before 1940 anyways. Um, but yeah, we had this one right here, 52 Denver, which will probably be going in the album. But I'm going to count up the totals and see what the totals are right now, and then I'll see if we have any for the albums. Okay, in total, we had $50 searched and 48 wee pennies, 20 Canadians, and one dime. So it was actually a really good hunt for just $50 searched. My average usually is like 10 wheat pennies in a box. Still though, we didn't have any additions. Um, actually, I haven't checked. I just don't think we have any additions. I'm gonna get the albums now and check. All right, the first replacement I had was the 50S. The 50S right there is the one we used to have and the one right there is the one we found today. And the one that we used to have is actually in really bad shape. So pretty good replacement right there. All right, we already had a pretty good looking 52 Denver, but the one I put in there right now is what we found today, and it just has a little bit more luster. So I put that one in there instead of the old one. And finally, I switched out the 55 Denver. It's not really good lighting, but the one is in there right now is just a little bit better. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. We just have a ton of finds scattered everywhere right now. Um, it was a really good hunt. We found a lot, and I'm probably gonna get more boxes tomorrow, so. There'll probably be another video coming out soon, unless they are like uncirculated boxes or I can't end up getting any. So um, be ready for that one, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.